Yeah, I have always wanted to perform comedy in front of a wall made out of old stormtrooper armor. That's, uh... <laughs> doesn't this look like the memorial that the architect made for the Empire after the Death Star blew up? Like, just never forget, right? Like, just like, it's abstract, but it still lets you know a lot, a lot of good people died. <laughs> Or bad people, I guess. I guess the store troopers are bad. But the black dude, didn't, he was good. He just, yeah, Ladies he was and gentlemen, that was stand-up comedy. Troopers. This, meanwhile, is an example of what happens when the entire hair industry is destroyed <laughs> overnight by some terrible disaster. <laughs> this is the result. John, John Roy, listen, yesterday I spent an enormous amount of time time that I really hadn't expected to spend watching you on network appearances. Conan, you killed me, but you called yourself a 12-year-old dressed for recess. Yeah. What is that about? Uh, well, you know, I, I used to wear hoodies and concert t-shirts everywhere I went, even when I was 40. <laughs> and I was looking around going, you know, like, this is how we dress. Our parents wore suits and ties, but we're like, I want to dress like I did on the playground. I think that's a good look, really, until I'm married. But on the <laughs> playground, you refer to yourself as a kind of an early geek yeah. that got picked on, and then you grew into a world of other geeks. Yeah, everyone, you look around, like, everyone's uh, into it now. The, Avengers are the biggest movies. When if you were when when I was in high school, if you wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons, you needed three people who could keep a secret. <laughs> now you didn't talk about that to anybody. <laughs> Were you now? Were you funny as a kid, though? Uh, I don't know whether other kids. I thought at you. so. <laughs> I Did your family laugh yeah, at you? Yeah, no, I, I was, I was, I was pretty funny. I, I wasn't going to win any fights, so I figured if we could get everybody laughing, then maybe this won't happen. <laughs> you know, I, I think probably that you're going to find a very enthusiastic audience at Rick Bronson's House of yeah, Comedy. Yeah, it's been it's great so far. Tonight and tomorrow and Sunday through the whole weekend, yeah, right? Yeah, I've got two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, and one Sunday. Do you ever try to make kids laugh? Uh, I, I, it's got to be a tough audience. Well, I don't know all the references now. I mean, who knows what they're streaming on their phones or whatever. But I'd have to figure out like you don't a know lot of Pokemon jokes that I, I don't really know. The, and even that's probably 20 years old. I don't know what they're doing now. <laughs> well, you you really though have have nailed a kind of a special image. And uh, when I walked in, I didn't recognize you at all because all of the videotapes you have no hair, not only on well, your head but also here. Well, you know, I, I ended up. I had to get on a blood thinner, so I didn't want to shave my head anymore. I grew the beard out, and then once I saw that, I was like, I gotta grow the sides out, because if you don't, then you look like somebody put only the beard on Mr. Potato Head, which is <laughs> just not a good look. Uh, but then once I saw this, I couldn't wear the dress for Reese. I used to wear hoodies and concert t-shirts, but you look in this, this in the mirror, you can't wear a hoodie, you look like an oyster farmer. <laughs> and then if you've got a con nobody, people my age who look like this should not wear shirts with writing on them. The best thing you can hope for is, hey, look, kids, dad likes hip hop, too. <laughs> but like, it, it really, if they wanted people who look like me to wear shirts with writing on them, they'd make t-shirts for like TurboTax or like shredded wheat. Every time I talk to anybody <laughs> in the world of comedy, that suicidal business that you chose, <laughs> I want one name of the one person in comedy stand up that kills you. Uh, well, unfortunately, he's no longer alive, but a guy named Greg Giraldo was the funniest guy that, that I ever uh, ever saw. And if people want to watch some really funny stuff, uh, look at, look his stuff up on the web. Well, you it's can do that, or time. you can just simply go to Rick Bronson's House of Comedy, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, yeah, that's, definitely. Uh, it's, it's High Street, uh, right next to Desert Ridge. You know where it is. All weekend long with John Roy making jokes about blood thinner. <laughs> uh, you, you dig deeply, my friend.